What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're going to do some shenanigans here. We're going to do some Ilharg shenanigans. I think it could fall flat on its face. It could be terrible. We're going to play... We're going to we're gonna focus on Ilharg. Do I just make another Ilharg? Yes. Yes, I do. Because that's what we're here for, guys. We're here for the Ilhargs. <clears throat> And then we can trample in. Unfortunately, Palakorn will not die. It will just go back to our hand. So we, we're never going to draw the card. Neoform is also pretty decent because you can Neoform into Ilharg on turn four. What are we Neoforming? Carnage Tyrant's all right, but I want Enters the Battlefield triggers. I don't just want big dumb idiots. I want to actually get some get some advantage off these guys. Let's look at these. Enters the battlefield. And we're going to go... Let's look for creatures. And... This color, and this color, and this color. Actually, all the colors is fine. All the colors is fine. And I also want the not collected ones, too. Can we show me the things I don't have so I can pick those up? <clears throat> if we're ill-harging an Elvish Rejuvenator... I feel like we're doing our, our opponent a real, or we're doing our opponent a real favor there. Hey, I got a one one. No, oh. then because then they just block the one one. <clears throat> Nobody cares about that. Plus, like once we get Ilharg, I assume we don't need any more mana because that's gonna be like that's the thing. That's the thing we're doing. I don't, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna end up putting Rakdos into play. It's gonna end up killing our Ilharg, and then it's gonna end up going back to our hands. So we have no creatures in play at the end of the turn. Yikes! You guys are, you guys are maniacs. <clears throat> Dream Eater seems nice. You get to surveil four and then bounce a dude. Every turn. All right, let's put the ones we're we're looking at here. We got what well, that was one of them. Uh, Galt is fine, but again, no enters the battlefield trigger. And raise four runners could be good. I like that. Angrass from Marauder, Marauders is basically just a Rakdos and raise four runners, right? Choops is an option. That would put us into Jund, whereas Dream Eater puts us into uh, Timur. Timur. Timur, if you will. Did you guys hear that cat? He's so loud, dude. Um, What about Torgar? When it enters the battlefield, up to one player... <clears throat> they lose their... their life, up to one target player's life total becomes half their starting life total rounded down. Yeah, so they'd be 10. So you just play Torgor into play. You're, you're attacking with a 6-6 six, six, and a 7-6, seven, and their life total becomes 10. That is an option. Um, Let's actually look for 7, 6, 5, and 4. I don't think I want anything cheaper than 4 mana. <coughs> I think anything cheaper than 4 mana, we're just wasting our time. I mean, anything cheaper than 5 mana, we're probably wasting our time, but... Demanding Dragon, it deals 5 damage to target opponent unless the player sacrifices a creature. So it's basically, you're attacking with a 5-5, five, five, a 6-6, six, six, and they make them you make them sack a dude. Siege Gang Commander also seems good. Ba -do 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 -do. Um, Burning Sun's Avatar seems, seems like gas. Oh, that seems really good. Alright. I'm trying to keep it, I'm trying to keep it two colors, but if we need a third color, I'm okay with it. Um, I don't like Biogenic Ooze. You want you, Just because it has an Enters the Battlefield ability, you want to also be able to attack with it, right? So if I'm attacking with Biogenic Ooze, they're just going to block it and we get a 2-2 out of it. So it's really unexciting. <clears throat> yeah, that seems pretty decent. Alright, uh, what else we got here? Grasping thrill, Thrillsums. Ravager Worm was OP when we had it. I'm definitely gonna like we're definitely including Ravager Worm. That's not even a it's not even a question. 
Flint Hoof Boar. <laughs> That's an old meme, but it checks out. <clears throat> Man, if Rolex said when this when this leaves the battlefield, uh, proliferate, then proliferate again, I'd be like, oh, I'm on board with that. You could put Rolex in a play, make the Ilharg an 8 8, though. Uh, Tristani, but like Tristani's just gonna get blocked. Ronus, I don't really care about. Ronus doesn't really do much that I that I'm super excited about. Like this guy doesn't have tramples. Oh, it does have trample. Interesting. Twelve, twelve. Hmm. The problem is like the vigilance isn't relevant, so you're only just doubling their power. It's not bad. I just don't know if it's like super exciting. <clears throat> Where were we? Right, right about here, I guess. So come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. When this enters the battlefield, if you cast it, if you cast it, untap all lands. All right, so that's not gonna work. Um, <laughs> Niv Mizzet, nah. No, we're not gonna we're not gonna build our deck around it though, unfortunately. Traxos, no. Gate Colossus is actually interesting. Didn't someone say, like, Tulsmere? How come Tulsmere's not... Oh, it's right here. Uh, someone else said something else that it felt like it's not showing up. <clears throat> what was the song I was just singing? Karma Chameleon by Culture Club? I mean, that wasn't what I... Though I wasn't. I didn't have the actual words to it, but... Yeah, I think we can forgo blue. Huh. Maybe we're just red green. With Siege Gangs, Ilhargs, Demand Demanding Dragon also seems good. You come and go. You come and go. You come and go. Oh, Vivian's Arcbow seems good. So does Vivian herself, actually. All the Vivians are good. <clears throat> Registar Alpha seems nice, but we don't have any dinosaurs. I would like creatures that cost less than four. Let's see what those are. Uh, let's go one, two, and three. This is probably going to be a lot. I still want Ender's Battlefield triggers because if we don't have one of the big guys in our hands, it's just nice to, uh, it's still nice to have triggers. It's nice to have triggers, guys. Yeah, we're definitely putting in Paradise Druid as well, so don't, don't, don't get it, don't get all, don't get all excited. I don't have any Dire Fleet Daredevils, and that's fascinating. Fascinating. I don't have any little dumplings either. Remember this guy, little dumpling? <laughs> Crawl Harpooner could be decent. <coughs> I do like a Domri. I do like a Domri. I like all the Domri's actually. Uh, I don't see Wayward Sword. Eh, Wayward Sword is actually not bad, depending on how much land we have. Jade Light Ranger is probably very, very good here. The whole the whole Wild Growth Walker package is probably pretty good. I like Night of Autumn too. All right, let's see what we got here. Paradise. Okay, we'll take out the blue, and then take out the black. I don't think we need it. Um, Demanding Dragon seems great. Like you're attacking with a six, six, and five, five, and they either take five or sack a guy. That seems awesome. Uh, so does this guy. This guy seems great too. These guys do very similar things, but they're both huge. Uh, I'll put two of those fat boys in there.
let's unclick creature and unclick that casting cost restriction. Look at all these Vivian cards. Good lord. Um, yeah, I could see two arc bows and three of the regular Vivian. Because putting the card in your hand... Actually, ooh, it's rough because it doesn't go into your hand. This is fine. I got... Oh, did I just craft all three? Wow. No, I crafted one, right? Oh, I crafted three. Good lord, I didn't know that was a thing you could do. Yikes. <clears throat> That's a yikes for me, dog. Oh, Sargon's on ceiling seems insane. <laughs> oh, man. Whenever you cast a creature spell with power four, five, or six, it deals four damage to any target. Unfortunately, I don't have any creatures with seven or greater power, but... Oh, we do have N-rays, and I guess both of these are. That's fascinating. That was demanding. Oh, man. It's like, hey, buddy. Make three more. And I'm like, I don't want three more. I'm never going to use these again. Oh, no. Sarkon the Masterless. We don't have that many Planeswalkers. Um, what was the other card? We were, someone else mentioned something good, and I liked it. Um, oh, the Domries. Uh, I would say two of this Domri. And maybe even two of this Domri. I like the Domri mix. That's pretty good. This is 65 cards already? Oh, lord. It's looking... And this is only 22 lands? Oof. Oof. Alright. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> Rootbound. Those are the only four dual lands we have, right? So we can go one, two, three. Yeah, one, two, three. So this is eight, sixteen. Twenty-four lands. Alright, that seems fine. We could probably cut down... Actually, I don't love Siege Gang because it has to attack. You know what I mean? Like, it's... The Siege Gang itself is attacking, so we're putting a couple creatures into play. Uh, 65 cards still. Yikes. This might be... Uh, we might want to be able to cut Palaka Worm. It just feels like a worse end raise for runners. I like Arcbow because it gives you something to do with your, um... Maybe just cut this Vivian. I don't think this Vivian's actually that great. I like Arcbow because it gives you something to do with your late your late game land or elves or lands or whatever. <coughs> Are you home? Yeah, we just we just brewed the whole thing. Um, war. Got a, a little, we'll call it Ilharg Aggro. All right, let's just try it like this for now, and we'll see what happens. Oh, we don't have a sideboard yet. Do we just play best of one? I don't like best of one, though. I was rebooting. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. What else do we want in the sideboard? What's typical for red-green sideboards? But if you walk without rhythm, you won't attract the worm? What is that from? <clears throat> Anti-red, huh? <laughs> Dune. Heh. Why the heh at the end? Oh, man. Alright, so we're looking at cards that gain us life. Because you got a hand. All right. Can't argue with that, I guess. Sometimes you got a hand. Uh, if we're able to attack with Ilharg and put a creature into play, I think we're way ahead already. I do kind of like... Uh, this guy's just... Samet? What does Samet do? I mean, we already have Rhythm, and we also have Domri for for haste. <coughs> Domri gains haste, right? 
No, it can't be countered. Okay. Ah, that's fine. Oh, this one gives Riot, so this one also gives Haste. So, I mean, if I'm going to play a 4-mana that gives Haste, I'd rather just uh, use this Domri. This also lets us peek at cards. I think it's just significantly better than, than Samet. Green Flyer hate spell? Yeah, I can see that. Destroy... Uh, flying... Yeah, I'll just look up Flying. That's fine. Or, oh, Crawl Harpooner is probably better, actually, right? Yeah, I like that a lot better. Um, What is it? Mortal Phoenix. Six mana, when it dies, returns to Sister's hand. I, I, that's, that's not the worst. Oh, Vivian Reed seems great. <clears throat> I'll play two and two. Um, what else? What else? What else? Wreck Sage. I do want some life gain. Gain life. Isn't that like a gain a thousand life card? Give me the not collected cards too. I want to see if I'm missing. Oh, Rampaging Ferocidon. I don't think you can even craft this card, can you? This card is banned in the following format. Standard, traditional, standard. So you can't play it on anything. Why are you even letting me... Don't even let me look at it. It feels like our options for life gain is, are not that great. I kind of just want Wild Growth Walker. I, but then, like, we have to hit our four Jade Light Rangers, which is rough. I mean, I'm trying to, like, think, is Highland Game that bad? Like, they just, it blocks and it eats a dude? I don't know. It's not great. I actually like Plain Wide Celebration. I think the card is gas. Uh, unfortunately, seven mana is a bit much for us, but still, it's still pretty sweet. All right, we'll just put it like this for now. I don't know if it's great, but you gotta start somewhere. You gotta start somewhere. Uh, I don't like our I don't like our odds of hitting triple red. Also, I don't know if Chain Whirlers that great against a specific. Um, y'all yeah, keep this hand. The guy that pumps out one ones is Krenko. Well, that's sad. I guess we should have attacked there. We're not blocking, so. <coughs> no blocks. Hey, look at that. Look what we did. Oh, um. Library. I think. Huh. <laughs> They're like, what are you doing? Don't worry about it, man. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> Judith. Yeah, I'll take six. Actually, do I just block here? Then they kill this too. Yeah, I'll stick this. We might be dead here. That would be sad. I'd cry. Say no attacks. We got old Ill Hartles. 
So we take three if they sack like a gutter bones. And if they have like heart fire in hand, we're just dead. Oh god, this deck is really aggressive. Yep. I'll put you to seven. I'll put you to five. I'll heart fire your face, and then you're not alive. <clears throat> Here we go. You'll get caught up in the heart fire. Heart fire! That's fascinating. Oh boy. Do we just... One, two, three, four, five. Can we actually just play Ravager Worm? Have it fight here and then put Enray's Forerunners into play? This guy doesn't get haste. This guy would get haste. <gasps> uh, let's get haste. I don't know if this math checks out, but we're going to find out. Here we go. Bang, 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 bang. Six, seven, eight, nine. All attack. Three attackers. Put this idiot into play. <laughs> I feel like we've had a success, ladies and gentlemen. 15, 20, 26 damage. They can block six of it. And they go to three. Or they go to negative three, I guess. First game, success. Damn, this guy, this guy was MVP. Woo! 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. This added 15 power to the board right now. And race forerunners, good call. Who was that, T. Jesse? matter negative three exactly what we said this guy gives trample to your other guys too they gain vigilance and trample yeah all right pretty good pretty 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 good and we'll take out probably demanding dragon i know first we wanting them sacrifice like giving them a sacrifice outlet This hand's pretty bad. I'm going to ship it. Eh, this hand is not great, but I'll take it. I mean, I don't like playing against these red decks, but I'm going to bottom this because we have a Jade Light Ranger, so I want a green source. Plus, we're on the draw, so... Oh, they went to 6-2, so that's good. I feel like our deck probably mulligans better than their deck just because they need a high concentration of, of things like this. Never mind. Well, at least I can only play one of these. Because of their limited red. So that's pretty good. <clears throat> Welp. Yeah, 
That's pretty good. Okay, that's also nice. Um... <clears throat> Um, yeah, we'll put that in the library. That's fine. We'll play it next turn. We'll draw a land, presumably. Play the land, gain three. They can only really attack with gutter bones here unless they kill our Jade Light Ranger. Which is pretty cool. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, this is, I mean, <clears throat> our first game we seem to get pretty lucky. Because this deck is extremely aggressive and we don't, there's not a ton of tools in the format if you're only running two colors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We go up to nine. So we go to two here. Yeah, I guess we'll take that. Yeah, fire cannonade seems good. That's actually a good... Uh, that's a good suggestion. Alright, so three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You got it. Yeah. Alright, um, it still seems fine the way it is. I don't. I'll keep this because the double rights of flourishing and we're on the play. Or bond of flourishing, not rights of flourishing. Mana Nighthawk Lizard? <laughs> That's true, I do like Mana Nighthawk Lizard. I'm also a fan of the name Mana Nighthawk Lizard as well, so... Alright, let's uh... But then he can never go back, wow. That's amazing. That's true though. Uh, I think we just want the land here. I don't know if I like this turn. I don't know if I like this, uh, this three mana Domri in the deck. I also don't know if I like Demanding Dragon that much. We'll find out. So if we play this, we're just ramping to five next turn. Same thing with this. This guy just dies, though. I guess you can plus one. Yeah, we'll just play you. So if we block the Footlight Fiend, we take two. I'm gonna I'm gonna no block it and then hope we just draw Ilharg. Seems good, right? <laughs> Sometimes you gotta play you gotta play to your outs, you know. Oh man, they're double they're double shooting here. Wow. You got it. Yeah, we'll put him back in the deck. Oof, that would have been very good if we could hit a land here. Well, there's a land. I think we're dead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have to block. We can play Domri and then. Just take the land. Come 
could also fight here, but then we need another land in order to cast these guys. So that seems bad. They can only punish you if they catch you. <laughs> I think we're way too. I think we're way too far behind now, though. Like, I just feel like we want Wild Growth Walkers and Merfolk Branch Walkers in the deck. Meh. <clears throat> sure. Three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, all at face. Aggressive. With animals my entire life. Explains a lot, actually. I mean, I'm pretty sure we're dead here, actually. Plus one counter. Fight this idiot. Yeah, we just block here. We take four. Oh, because Judith. Dang it. Alright, that was close. Yeah, Judith's a real beating. We also don't have any, like, removal in our deck. I think Lava Coil probably should go on the sideboard. All right, so now we, we got an idea of what... That, that game one was great, though. Um, all right, we'll take two Domries out. Take the Demanding Dragons out. <clears throat> uh, let's go Wild Growth. Take out two Paradise Druids. Probably take out one and one of each of these. Or we just take one of them out. Add up three of these guys. And sideboard, we want a lava coil. What? Is it two words? Ah, oh, it is two words. Rex Sage. We have Cinder Vines. I don't think we need the Rex Sages. Take out one Bond. Yeah, I think that's better. Alright. That also gives us more early plays and better ways to hit our land drops as well, so. first. Keep. <clears throat> Snap keep. Sneep. Oh, that's cool. No attacks. Alright, well, got another red deck. If we hit a land next turn, it's actually pretty insane. If they don't kill our land war elves, they probably will. Lightning strike here, pump this guy, attack with both. Skewer the critic, pump this guy, play a shock, kill this guy, pump this guy, pay three, do a thing. That's my guess. <coughs> oh, just a straight up skewer, okay. Come on, land off the top. One time, one time. That's not a land, nor is it even that good now that we don't have the wild growth walker. Um, uh, do a counter. 
Uh, graveyard, unfortunately. And the graveyard, we want to land here, so. Land is still good, though. Is it lethal? 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, plus 7. Might be. Could be good. That's pretty obnoxious. And then they skewer the crew. Oh, they just didn't do anything. Well, we still can't cast Ilharg. That's unfortunate. They were so close every single turn. So close. Yeah, no blocks. <clears throat> thanks, but no thanks, my dude. That is fine. When people start screaming, I know I'm on track. Sit back and watch it burn. Sure. Come on, land off the top. Don't be like this. be super nice to have everything go right for you when I can't even draw a fucking fifth land. Seems good. Alright. Oh! See if our decide board decisions actually mean anything. Fantastic. Oh yeah, that's that's great. That's great. Of course they kept 70. Why wouldn't they? I played against this deck three times in five rounds last night. It was the most miserable experience of my life, so... I'm gonna concede early because I'd rather actually shoot myself in the f in the brain than uh, than play against the red deck again. So, I mean, if you're playing the red deck, it's actually pretty good value because you can usually just have your opponent concede out of misery instead of playing it out with you. So, um, you know, if you like m making people suffer, it's actually a great choice. I also it's got a it's got a pretty sweet brain dead aspect to it too where you just literally shoot shoot your they'll just burn you in the face for a you know a thousand damage every game and uh, I don't have to really make any thoughts 
So <clears throat> Did I say make any thoughts? Give any thoughts? Make any choices? You know what? I don't know. Overgrown tomb. Alright, so at least our opponent should be playing uh, interactive cards uh, that require some amount of some amount of thought. So that's good. Well, we could play Jade Light here. Or we could play both of these guys. Because next turn we can actually discard a card and look at the top five. That seems pretty good. Let's do that. Um... Yeah, I'll keep that guy actually, because with the well, we're gonna we're, we're sh I think we want more green in the deck than red. That's another change I want to make. We keep drawing a lot of mountains and not not a, not as many uh, not as many forestos. Sure. Cool. That was a cool thing to do. Look at the top two cards for allowing to put a creature card with Mark Mass two or less. Yeah, that's that seems pretty rough. What? Let's go damage. Do what you gotta do. Incredible. Well, it's all my own fault for putting an equal number of red and uh, green sources. Because you'd think you draw an equal number of, of red and green sources, all things being equal. But... Joke's on you, I got another one. <laughs> I only paid four mana for it. Wow. Sure. Hey, another... Another red mana. Look at that. Four out of eight mountains. We've drawn 50% of the mountains in our deck. That's solid. That's some solid, uh... Solid mountain drawage, if you will. Yep, yeah, that's a good dude. Resolve all. Fantastic. Just fantastic. And another mountain. That's his. I'm cringing. I'm cringing. Sure. You're gonna target my Vivian's arc bow. Uh, 
Don't do that. That would be rude. Uh, cause I'd rather dig for seven than, uh, take eight. It's pretty rough. Um, but I guess trading with this guy is totally fine. Especially cause we can dig for another seven next turn. I think that's worse than just, uh, just a seven drop if we can hit, or even like a six drop. Wacky arc bone? What's an arc bone? The arc bone's connected to the... Well, it's connected to something, I guess. Yeah, I'll take two. Because if they have, like, another hostage taker, they're probably going to want to steal it. This is why they're not attacking with this guy, because they just want to throw something out so that we can they can hostage take whatever we put into play. Yeah, sure. Oh, they're gonna need to go I'm gonna go get my hostage taker back. Definitely discarding this. Thank you. Pen number, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um Me, me, all the way. Ba -da -da. <sighs> sure. Is that a Demir Guildgate? No, it was Water Grave. Okay. Alright, so instead of taking six damage, we're gonna block. Seven again. And we're gonna get Burning Sun's avatar. Kill this dude. And then we're just gonna hope we draw end raise four runner boars. End raise boar runners. Oh, that's pretty insane. Six, twelve. Well, it's not lethal. I guess we can just cat no, we can't. We don't have a second green. That's unreal to me. That's unreal to me. So I guess we're attacking with both. And I wish we could kill this guy. They're at six? Good lord. I guess we can actually activate this and just discard this guy. Oh, that's real good. Wow, that's great. What a combo. So they're going to play Hostage Taker to probably get rid of this. Because this guy seems much more powerful. But we just still get Ravager Worm. Well, there's only one pig, so it can't be Pig Tribal. Um... Oh, we can actually discard this to put the Raise Boar back into play. That's hilarious. Oh, that's nice. Oh, and Raise Forerunners. That is two pigs. You're right. Five, six... Hmm. Well, we can put this guy into... That was like the worst draw ever, because we can put this guy into play, but it's not great. Oh, alright, we just win the game. <laughs> alright, seems good. <laughs> oh, fantastic. It's almost like we, we have a, a decent shot when we get to play Magic the Gathering against our opponent.
And we still we still got really screwed on lands that game too. That's unfortunate. Um I don't really feel like boarding anything in. Fina Reed could be good. Lava Quill could be decent. Is there any way to make our pigs fly? Asking for a friend. I think you're asking for yourself, you liar. I'll keep this hand. I'm, I'm down. Two, two green sources? Sure. Isn't going to need to board in anything. Wow, that was good. That was very good. Have you considered demanding dragons? We literally just took the demanding dragons out. start at six essentially and this is five power so that's pretty bad my biggest problem with Domri is that he's just like he dies very easily what about Neheb is Neheb a better card is that better than just Domri like it's a five four with trample whenever it deals combat damage to a player you may discard any number of cards actually I kind of like Neheb hmm I think we're just playing this, enter tapped, and then we'll play you. No attacks. Uh, what are we replace the demanding? Just more things we needed. I mean, it wasn't like, it's not like it was like... I mean, it's hard to explain what I replaced it with. Because, like, y you wouldn't know the beginning of the deck and the end of the deck. It was just a card that we took out. That's fine. Man, giving them a Vivian's Arc Bow is rough, but that's life, I guess. Now they just go Chupacabra, kill this, attack for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Like, these decks are so tempo-oriented that... I wish there was, like, a red creature. Sure. Man. Man, man, man. Ocean man, man. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, got our little Rex Sage on top. You're going to leave it there? Can we just draw End Race Forerunners one time? I would also take a green source so we can go Rhythm of the Wild and Jade Light. I would also take a Wild Growth Walker. A land. Okay, so what can we do here? Actually, Domri seems pretty decent because it lets us find cards. And oh, for God's sake. The right place. <laughs> Come on, dude. Come on. That's unbelievable. I like Neheb better because it's a creature. It doesn't just die immediately. And it does let us just discard cards that are useless, so...
I mean, if you have, like, Chupacabra, you just kill this. You just get rid of it and then attack me for 30. Like, it's really not... I'm at 6 life. What's like a Rex Sage and Branch Walker? That's an interesting turn. Jesus. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Siege Gang because you actually have to attack with the Siege Gang commander itself, which is not great. Although, I mean, you do have a bunch of mana up, so you can just shoot something. Uh, plus one. Plus one. Just draw two lands, I guess. Seems good. Well, we're just going to keep everybody up and uh, no attacks. And end the turn. Yeah, I could see having a bunch of mana and having Siege Gang be pretty good. That seems fine, actually. How meet my newest friend. They're giving us a lot of time. Yep, that's fine. I'm pretty sure we're just gonna ultimate, not ultimate, but uh, try to dig again to 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 a boar. You know, and we like hit absolutely nothing. That's incredible. This is actually we we dug eight deep, and it just literally does nothing. It's just very impressive. It's gonna be watch. It's gonna be this card. It's gonna be the top card. It was not. Alright, well, no attack still, because we can't manage to get a creature. Do we just want one more Enraged Forerunners in the deck? And maybe we want to take the Paradise Druids out? I don't know. We'll see. We'll take another look. The wilds are my shield. Okay. Oh, Hydroid Crassus. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. So you can do that for four. I'm just going to kill Ilharg, I presume. I mean, if we draw a Raise Board, it might still be good enough, but I, I no, I don't think so at 27. Or End Raise Forerunners, rather. Nick, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it, buddy. Did I say 27? I meant 30 life. My bad. So I really hate, have, I hate having more than six mana creatures in our deck. Mana creatures. Most wounds can heal. Riot, riot, haste. Sure. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Three for one? Sounds good. Clean up the board a little bit. What up, Mike? Good seeing you, my dude. Of 
cool. No one knows the wilds like I do. Can we draw anything here? I don't think so. <laughs> All right, good game. But it was not good game. It was B game. B game? BG? It was not GG. It was BGs. Yeah, I'm alright with this configuration. Uh, we have a bunch of big guys, we just didn't see any of them. I'm gonna take this other Paradise Dread out, put one Vivian in. forest configuration dude this hand is actually pretty good if we had a forest sure you know what sure you got forests sure I'll take it sure I actually I kind of I, I still want to keep that So, and the head next turn would be great because then we could actually discard, like, land, we'd get extra mana, we'd get to attack with it. Oh my god, Atali. Oh, now you're talking. Wait, hold on. Does Atali trigger when it attacks? Because Atali is actually pretty terrible if, if that's the case. Yeah, it's when it attacks. So, considering Ilharg puts it into play attacking, it would never trigger. Yeah, no bueno on Atali, unfortunately. That got me real excited, though. Um. Graveyard and graveyard. Uh, yeah, we can attack here. Sneak and Snout and Pulled Pork are both amazing names for this deck. Wow, you guys are you guys are amazing. Well, that's unfortunate, but next turn we get to go ill hard with haste into Burning Sun's Avatar, so that should be very, very good for us. Counter, am I right? Target up to one creature. Do you take 13 here? That's the question. I guess so. Because even if they get rid of this, we still have the Burning Sun's Avatar in hand, which is pretty gas. Yeah, we were talking about how putting Rakdos is weird because, like, you just get to, like, the Rakdos can just kill all your board. I mean, it's a cool, co it's a cool combo, don't get me wrong. But I want a little more, uh, a little more resiliency. Um, take six. We you know this two of the cards in their hand. No, we just kill them, right? No, because this, yeah, they're just dead. Yeah, they're just dead because this guy is haste. So they're taking like a thousand damage. Oh man, 
This deck is doing some sweet things. Yeah, Burning Sun and Ravaging Worm are both very, very good here. I'm a big fan of both. Okay. So. We're doing actually pretty well. Okay. Um... Taking out the Domries, putting in Neheb. That's good. Two is all I need. Because he's legendary. Definitely taking out at least one mountain for one forest. A lot of these guys are double red, but we need... Like, all of our cards up until turn f turn three are uh, single... At least at least single green. I kind of like taking out the Paradise Druids for another Branch Walker and something else. Emerson Klein Gaming, thank you for the reminder. Appreciate it. <laughs> Appreciate it. Um, what are good like four and f let's go let's look up some good green three and four drops. Let's just take a gander. Let's look up rares. Eh, I guess uncommons are fine too. There's no like red creature that deals damage like when it comes into play, right? There's no like flame tongue kavus, because that would be great. I feel like we would have seen these, though. Uh, we actually had Palaka Worm, but it was just worse than Enray's Forerunners. Enray and Enray's Four Forerunners just kind of wins the game. I think they're both good, though. Like, the seven life could be extremely relevant, but I feel like if you're at a point where you're, play you're attacking with Ilharg and you're putting a creature from your hand into play, like, you're probably just winning. I can also just keep the Paradise Druids. I mean, Ronus is fine. Do I not have... Oh, it's because he's not uh, three or four. I can see, like, one Ronus. I mean... He doesn't have Trample, though, which is a problem. The Rakdos one does cost four mana, unfortunately. Hmm. <sighs> How many creatures do we have? 30? That's a good amount. All right, I'm taking out the two Paradise Druids, adding one more of these and one more Branch Walker, because the Branch Walker does help the burn matchup as well. So we'll see if that does does what we want it to do. Isn't Neheb just a better Grand Warlord? Like, Neheb lets you loot, too. Uh, this is a pretty easy keep, I think. Oh, interesting. Alright, everything's going according to plan here. So now that you take the Jade Light Ranger, unfortunately. Two Ilhargs, that's pretty gross. Oh wow. Vivian's Arc Bow. Hmm. Fascinating. 
Definitely a solid choice. Is this just blue-black? It is looking like it. Um, one, two, three. I gotta go graveyard with this guy. Like, you just, I, it's just a six drop, and I don't really want to not do anything for the next three turns, or even the next turn, for, for example. That's pretty good. Oh, it's Grixis. You're gonna Grixis us. We're gonna play this first if they have a counter spell. Like they know we have Wild Growth Walker. If they have a counter spell, they're gonna use it. If they have Spell Pierce, though, I don't want to get Spell Pierce. Well, that's pretty good. This seems hard to deal with against them. For for them. Man, this one wild growth walker, guys. Just want to discard the card. I'll discard a mountain. Sure. You're gonna plus here? That's aggressive. Plus here. Oh no, you're not. Okay. Sure. To suffer for your Nickel Bowls is at one. Burning Sun's avatar coming back with this guy. That's a yikes for me, dog. Yikes. Unless they can get they, they might just get Nickel Bowls back. I mean, Nickel Bowls is pretty good, I guess. It's better than a six six though. Apparently. Is unfortunate. I'm gonna exile this guy. Schemes to attend. <laughs> you have no weakness I cannot exploit. Really? No weakness? Look at me! I'm on trigger. Select player or planeswalker to it. Oh, player. <laughs> For sure. Pig, 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 pig. This is pig. This is pig tribal, guys. Why would you let me attack first? That's fascinating. Unless you have double bedevil in hand, which would be very, very good for you. No? Okay.
Bop, bop, bounce it. that card in, flip your little searchy boy. Exiles. Uh, we can exile a land here. We only need five to hit raise boar. Defiance is at fury. I outsmarted you eons ago. Did you? Oh, wow. They're, act they're just activating it main phase? Wow. <laughs> That's pretty good. Just not now. I mean, they're dead, right? They play this, we respond, we put an Ilharg into play, they die. Okay, pass to attackers, pass to my turn. Five, pay five. Discard this. Good piggy boy. And attack for six. P -p -p piggy Okay. So you go to four. Now you die. Sounds good. Look at pig. Oh tennis. P -p -p piggy. Alright, so what are we taking out of this guy? Uh Ravager Worm actually not as good. You can cut one Ravager Worm. Wild Growth Walker is great. Kind of, uh... Kind of less good. Ronus is... Mm, eh, so we got four cards to put in. I'm probably putting all of the Cinder Vines in. Also the Vivian Reeds. Uh, Harpooner, what does Harpooner do? I mean, they already had Thief in the main deck. Which is pretty good. So maybe Harpooners instead of, like, Wild Growth Walker. Yeah, this seems fine. Actually, on two drops, Cinder Vines just might be better. Like, it just could take a million. They could just take a million. Oh yeah, this is a keep. This is a juicy keep. Rhythm of the Wild seems pretty fantastic here. It's a good way to get rid of the Ilharg, though. But then we got Vivian Reed, so... Oh, they just got rid of Crawl Harpooner. That's fascinating. Thief of Sanity incoming. Yep. 
I mean, if we can if we can hit a big fat creature next turn, we get to go Ilharg attack with the fat creature uncounterable. So, what was my favorite MCU movie? Uh, it's probably Winter Soldier. But I really, really like Civil War. I think more than most. I have a big decision to make. Winter Soldier is pretty unreal good. I'm a big fan of uh, Sebastian Stan as... Oh, cool, you just got... You just get to take my Ilharg now. That's super cool. I appreciate that. Not bad for a mouse. I feel like they're just way behind right now. We got a rhythm, we got a Vivian, we got two creature boys. Okay. We're all very impressed. Ilhard. Come to me. Sometimes it just works out, I think. And an NRA's forerunners? I'll just take the Ilhard. Let's get a haste. No creatures, unfortunately. Just a, just a sad nine damage. Oh god, you're just gonna take it? Pernicious dude, I thought the same thing, Jeff. I was like, wow, Captain America's just literally shooting people. Like, it actually kind of blew my mind when I rewatched first of the first uh the first Avenger. I was like, Oh, he's just using a gun. He's just walking and shooting people. I mean, it was a different time then, you know, because of the whole Nazi thing. So, I, you know, it's like, all right, they're Nazis. I guess that's fine. But um, it was still surprising to me. He wasn't shooting people. He was shooting Nazis. Fantastic. Uh, we're actually doing quite well with this deck, I feel. Do we want to make any more changes? I don't know. I kind of like this. I think this is going well. Vivian's Arcbow has been OP. OP. <laughs> How many movies do I have to watch to get Endgame? Uh, about 22. <laughs> Maybe you should have been keeping up, Mom. Look at me. Oh, three stomping grounds? Yeah, whatever. Got some dudes. Oh, watching the four Avengers songs gonna be fine. Ooh, I, don't, I don't know about all that. You're just missing so much. You're like, who are these people? Like, it's just... So you'd probably get it, right? But it, I don't know if it'd be worth it. Like, a lot of the payoff in the movie is from, like, all of the previous things that were set up, you know? Oh, God, they're going to make me sack this, and they're going to deal me a point and make a 1-1 flyer. That's pretty good. They have to get rid of this guy. It's too good. Right, but I don't think she'd understand all the hype for Endgame, you know? Like, it's too good. The hype for Endgame is because people just put... They put 22 movies worth of effort into this franchise, and they're getting paid off. But, I mean, you know, not being the case, just watch the movies. I feel like if someone was invested in the characters as much as that, that game would be pretty boring. Yeah, it's just you're not gonna you're not gonna get it. You know, it's just it's you're not gonna appreciate it. 
Which, in the end, means you're not going to get what all the hype is about. You're going to be like, yeah, it was alright. A bunch of dudes fighting. I don't really understand it, but you're, gonna, you're not going to... You're not going to get, like... Because you, you, don't, you don't understand... Like, the, especially the Ant-Man parts, where, like, you know, Hank Pym comes out of the... Not Hank Pym. Uh, <laughs> Scott Lang comes out of the... Out of the thing, and you're just like, but... I don't get why is that relevant. They only have two power on board. We might just want to slam Rhythm here so we can get Ronus down next turn. Maybe not, though. It's probably Jade Light Ranger into... Oh, we just hit two lands. Fan Flamtastic. The old casual 2-1. I'm just a big Paul Rudd fan. I think Paul Rudd is fantastic. He's just so charming. Well, that guy's beefy. That's a beefy boy. That's a beefy McBeeferson. And they just block here, right? Seems bad. Meanwhile, they can just sack two of their guys. Eh, no attacks. Whatever. If you watch a different MCU movie every month, it take you about two years to catch up. Yeah, but that's like... One movie a month is pretty low. That's a pretty low bar. Take Wunzels, McMunzels. You can do this anytime. Discard. I'm gonna put Ronus in the garbage. I don't even want the. See, I just don't like Ronus because, like, once it's once you use the ability once, it's just not good anymore. You're like, eh, go away. I don't care about that. I guess we can play this and kill both these guys. Yeah, that seems good. Oh, they have five cards in their hand. What in the earth are they doing with themselves? That's eh, okay. We're only at five life. What could go wrong? Three, four, five. If we could, if we had one more, we can go rhythm into raise into. This guy deals us two because of this. Yikes. It's a yikes for me, dog. One, two, three, four, five. If we hit a land, we can go rhythm into Raze Boar into Jade Light Ranger. Good, but they're probably just gonna shoot us or something. Alright. Go to two. And nothing. So they do have to block here. Uh, one one counter. And library. Now graveyard. So actually they should be dead if they don't have removal. Wow. I think Iron Man 3 is very underrated. I think Iron Man 3 is a really good Tony Stark story, and I think people are like, What where's all the Iron Man? And I'm like, but it's a, it's about Tony Stark, it's about his response to Avengers and uh, it's it's just a really good story about his anxiety and his PTSD from that, that whole thing um, 
Yeah, like there's no Marvel movie. Like even the worst, I, there's no Marvel movie I wouldn't just watch. Who's Shane Black? Who is that? Is that the director? Yeah, okay. No. Yes? Did he write it? What did he do? What was his... What was his... Uh... He's the director. Okay, cool. Uh, Ron I'm taking out Ronas. Bring another... I'll put in one lava coil. I ain't... Why would they have to give it a different title instead of Iron Man 3? It's still Iron... He, Tony Stark is still Iron Man. Like, I don't understand. If I don't get to see robots flying around, I don't want to watch it. Like, I mean, it's still a great story about the character Tony Stark. I mean, you can call it Tony Stark 3, which doesn't make any fucking sense. Like, that seems like a silly... That seems like a silly nitpick, man. Man, you would leave if Dark World was on? That's crazy. That's aggressive. Um, yeah, I'll library that guy. We have enough mana. I got a forward drop. That's pretty darn good. Oh no, let's pl let's play a red. Let's play a rootbound Craggle Mc Craggle McMaggleton. Yeah, that's the other thing. If you watch if you watch Endgame and you're like Captain Marvel just shows up, you're like, who is this? Why is she so strong? I don't understand. Okay, so we have, right now, we have a bunch of land, landals. Wow, we just get to discard two of these and play like Burning Sun's Avatar post-combat? That's pretty nuts. Wow, Neb seems real sweet here. This deck is, this deck's pretty cool. It's less cool now. Because that's just rude. Man, remember how we were talking about playing Heartfire, Heart, Heartfire in, in Standard? And then someone's like, I got you. Well, that's sad. Neheb was real cool, but then he died. Get a load of this guy. This is an aggressive attack. I'll no blocks you. I kind of just like Ravager when I'm fighting here because next turn we get to play Burning Suns and if they play, if they ever play a Planeswalker, it's just better. This guy does get to eat this or this, but I don't think we care about that. That guy's fine. I gotta block. I gotta block her, my dude. I feel like we're way ahead here. Neb is an eternal. He'll be back. <laughs> That's fair. He's only he's only been like in three sets so far. Oh, yeah. 
I think we just attack with both, right? Because they have to block at least one of them. We attack with all three. And then they go block here, they take five, six. That seems fine. Are you gonna kill my elf now? Oh, not not me elfels. Oh, not me little elfels. Yeah, one one counter is fine. Play a land. Good games, my dude. Goose was alive in the nineties, right? Probably dead then. Wow, that's dark. Also, our deck has been doing pretty well. I wish there was a way you could, like, Elder Scrolls Legends has a great system where you can look at your deck. Uh, like, you can look at the last, like, 15 matches you've played and, like, it'll show you, like, what colors you were playing so you know what deck you were playing. Like, it'll be, like, Red Green, Red Green, Jun, Red Green, etc. And uh, you can see, like, how you did in the last, like, 15 matches. It'll say, like, win, loss, win, win, loss, win, 2-1, one, 1-2, one, whatever. And, uh... I, I love that feature and I, I don't think I don't know why Hearthstone and, and Magic don't incorporate that. There's you can do it on like uh, Hearthstone has a has a, a supplementary app called Deck Tracker, which which will do that. But it's 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 rough when it was like I wish I could just look back because I have no idea how many matches we played. I could probably watch the video, but that's who's got time? Who's got the time? Either way, I'm gonna finish this off here. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Twitch, Patreon, MeUndies.com slash Frank Laporte. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And Manatraders.com, which is an ex, ex, ex... What's the word I'm looking for? It's an awesome service. It's a subscription service where you can uh, rent physical paper cards or digital Magic Online cards. And you can get 20% off uh, your first three months of any subscription if you use the link and the promo code in the, in the description. So check those out. This deck list will also be in the description for those looking. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Really appreciate it.